If you click on any post on the page, you can see it's not taking you anywhere. And that is because we haven't linked the route to the post title. So let's get to the web route. And you can see that we already have the route named single post. So let's get back to the welcome view. And inside this href, we're going to use route and point it to single post. Since this route is accepting one parameter, we can simply define that as a second argument without array. Great. Now, as you can see, this one will take us to post one, this to post two, and this one to post three. But you can't tell the difference since this data is hard coded. So let's change that. First, you can remove this subheading since we are not using that. And here, you can use the type post title. Here, we are going to print the post title. And here, we want the post author's name, which is post user relationship and the name of the user. For the date, you can simply copy it from the welcome view. Now, we are getting the undefined variable post error since we haven't passed the post variable to this view. So let's get to the public controller and we can simply do post variable is equals to post model and we want to find the post with the id that has been passed to the route and we want to pass the post to the view and as you can see the title author name and date is now dynamic. However, we can do this with even less code. Let's change this ID parameter to post. And then instead of accepting ID, we'll be accepting post but we want to relate this post ID to the post model. And in this case, this is all we need to do. Great. Now let's make the content of the post dynamic. So we can simply get rid of all these paragraphs here. And since some of our posts may include HTML elements, we want to use double exclamation mark and then pass the post content. Great. Now let's see what would happen if our post content will have multiple lines in the database.
as you can see, Blade is making all the content in a single line, and that is something we don't want. Now we can use a PHP function which will insert line breaks where new lines occur in a string. And this time it looks as it should. Now let's create a section underneath the post content and display the comments for that post. Great, now let's iterate the comments for each post. And to do that, we can simply access the post comments relationship. So under here, we are using for each loop for post comments as comment. Now we got an error trying to get property of non object on line 35 or somewhere around it. Well, the real problem is on line 37 where we are trying to access comment user but we haven't set up the relationship from a comment to a user model. So let's do it right now. Open the comment 
model and create a new public function named user. And now return that this belongs to app slash user. And this time got an error that date format expects parameter one to be date time interface, but null is given instead. This means that the comment created at column have a value of null. So we are manually going to set some random dates just to make it work. Great. And as you can see, this time comments are working fine and they're showing dynamically for each post.